there may be a new army of bomb detectors hitting the battlefield in the next 10 years. And no, it's not a machine or a dog. The American Locust. That's right, bomb detecting locusts. A team of scientists at Washington University in St. Louis have discovered a way to use a locust nearly 50,000 sensors to detect TNT in controlled environments. So what we do is we make a small incision between the two antennas. The two antennas that you see of the insects on their head sticking, uh, sticking uh, out. They attach a chip to the insect's brain. So once the locust senses chemical explosives, its brain sends out certain signals, which are then captured and sent to a main computer. So. How would they compare to a military working dog? Let's put it into perspective. Military working dogs can work up to 12 years before retiring. Locusts can live up to a few months. Dogs are big. These bugs are small, meaning they can fit into spaces this canine would not be able to reach. To train canines, it costs nearly $40,000 per dog and can take more than 100 days. These insects, eh, they don't require training. Dogs are easy to control by their handlers. Locusts are much more unpredictable. I think it's a really interesting concept. Um, obviously, you wouldn't have much of a bond with a cricket. Um, so if anything happened to it, it probably wouldn't have be too hurt uh, versus a dog where we have a uh, bond together and if anything happened to him, I'd definitely be really upset. The Office of Naval Research has donated over a million dollars in grants to fund Ramon's research, but he says it may take a few years before these locusts see any action on the battlefield. Therese Garnier, Newsy, The Pentagon.